Each year in North America and Europe, 50 to 100 people per 100,000 population experience sudden cardiac arrest and die. Only about 30% of the American population are trained to be able to perform chest compressions and CPR. However, even some of the most skilled emergency responders perform poor quality CPR due to shallow compressions or a slower, fast rate of compressions. The standard rate of compressions are 100 to 120 compressions per minute, and the standard depth is 2 inches or one third into the patient's body deep. The study was trying to determine if by using accelerometers or feedback devices, one could record the quality of a person's CPR performance, testing how deep the compressions are and the rate at which they occur. The sample consisted of 28 volunteers who had no previous CPR education. Directly before this experiment, they all received the same chest compression-only CPR training. They each coupled into pairs and performed four 10-minute sessions of chest compressions using a metronome at different speeds per episode, but keeping the same target depth of two inches. A recessive and mannequin containing a photoelectric sensor was given to each pair. Three sensors with different mathematical equations were tested to determine which was the best in determining accuracy of chest compressions. Due to the success of these accelerometer devices, EMS companies have recently purchased new defibrillation devices that include them. After cardiac arrest, the data can then be downloaded onto a computer where healthcare professionals can analyze the quality of the chest compressions, allowing for improvement in later medical aid calls.